What's going on? My name's Tom. Today we're gonna to make some cheeseburger shenjing bao. Everyone loves soup dumplings, but shenjing bao, pan fried base, they're crispy, they're soupy, they're legit, <laughs> game over. I'm gonna make a cheeseburger version because burgers. Thank you, whoever invented this. Get in my face, check it out. Right, so I've got to shout out my favorite restaurant in London at the moment, Dumpling Shack, Spitalfields Market. Go and check it out, I eat there literally twice a week. So, Chengjian Bao, like a pan fried steamed bun from Shanghai. It's kind of like Zhao Long Bao's cousin. He's looking at you, Din Tai Fung. And usually they're made with pork and soup set with gelatin, but you guys, you don't need it. If you use good meat and cheese in this case, it's gonna stay soupy, juicy, and happy days. So we're just gonna bloom some yeast, distribute the salt through the flour, And my chopsticks are. Oh, there they are. Okay, slam in the yeasted water. It's been leave to bloom for about 15 minutes. So swizzle it around, get it to a nice shaggy mess. And you're gonna leave it to hydrate for a little minute. It's good to do this when you're making bread. It ensures you don't add too much flour and leaves you with a nice supple dough. All right, get it onto the surface. Knead it for exactly five minutes. It should feel a little bit like pasta dough for anyone that's made pasta dough before. It's quite firm, but that's the point. You want to really work that gluten, so make sure for those five minutes you're stretching it as much as you possibly can. It's going to give you a nice chew after this 10 minute proof. Right, let's make some donuts. No, not really. We're going to make this ring. I saw someone on YouTube do this. It's absolutely sick. It gives you a completely even piece of dough and then you can cut it up into little pieces. Great for getting even sized bao buns. Roll them together, slam it into bits. I'm gonna go quite big because burgers you should eat in, what, six bites? Squidge, get it into a nice little circle. Now as you're rolling it, keep a little bit of extra dough in that center because when you fill it and you pull it up and pleat it, it's gonna pull even and then you're gonna have a nice even steam. So slam your mix in and get ready to pleat. You wanna be guiding with your left hand, feeding it into your right. It takes a few goes to get right, but because you're not steaming them upright, you can be a bit rough, so just rip it off. So this is where it gets slightly untraditional, perhaps. You're shallow frying the dumpling. Look at those guys, you wanna get good color and you want it to cover all the pleats because that's what's gonna give you that really nice aesthetic once it's cooked. I need to tip the oil out now. I don't put any water in. Love that. Slam the water in there. Get the lid on. All of you pot sticker guys out there, this one's for you. Woo! He's hot! Okay, we're looking good. These guys have been steaming for about five minutes. Bunch them together, give them a bit of sesame seed love. We're gonna give it that classic sesame seed bun look and feel and taste. Now all we need is a burger topping wedge salad. But my little twist is that I'm gonna use some chinkyang vinegar, which is black vinegar from China. I'm also gonna use some fermented black beans and chili oil. This stuff is a joke. It's really nice. Absolutely delicious. It's like a spicy Thousand Island dressing with loads of funky stuff in there. Oh, maple syrup, good with the bacon. What even is a wedge salad? Just like triangles of, of joy. Look at that. There's an Asian dressing called Odd Flavor Sauce. This is a little bit like that. Here we've got some macerated tomatoes. I've just seasoned those with a bit of salt and leave them to chill out at room temperature for a bit. I roasted some shallots with some maple syrup, peel off the skins, they're a little bit dark, and you've got super sweet caramelized onions. Come on. Well, it's always when you get to this bit when you realize, you just want, you just want more dressing. A bit more dressing. Redress, and then loads and loads of chives. You could do spring onions or just raw onions, whatever you like, man. Whatever you like in your burger, basically. A bit more oil for color. You don't need it. There it is, wedge and crispy Shenjing Bao, but with burgers in it, come on. So we fried that base, locked in all the juice inside, get some good meat, get some cheese, you're gonna get juice down your chin, you're gonna get dribbles. It's just the absolute one. Give it a try, eat that one. 
didn't need to say anything. It might, might be a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. It's delicious.